Hey everybody, happy Halloween! And today, here is my last transformation. I am a zombie. A full-blown zombie. The last game we will be playing today is Hermitage Strange Case. This is a visual novel. A visual novel. Mm, detectives. It's based on horror. Or somewhat of it, I guess. But it's a visual novel. There may be some other stuff I don't know. I didn't fully read it. I was more captivated by the art that I seen. <laughs> but I know it's a horror. That's why I picked it. And it's a visual novel. I know that. But I don't know the... the the other, and I know solving the mystery also, I know that. So we're gonna get, oh look how it moves. So we're gonna get into... Okay, back. All right, so we're just gonna get into the new, that was the only option to have? Oh, okay, yeah it is. All right, so let's do a new game. Hope, hope everybody's Halloween is going good, or was good depending on which when y'all watching it and when you're watching it your day your night your morning your evening i hope it's been well and you have enjoyed it and let's get into this back menu skip next back bug okay this game is purely fictional. All events, characters, and items inspected in this game are fictional. Any similarity to any person or actual event is coincidental and unattended. She keeps her eyes closed. She can't forget what happened because something still lingers in the air. Anger? Maybe. No, it's not just anger. Maybe it's regret. A jumble of thoughts swept through her mind, and the icy air is burning her cheeks. Flying is more difficult than she thought. Looks like her soul doesn't sprout wings after all. Somehow, it's like she's still here. She feels relieved at that thought, and thus the, games begin. the game begins. Ooh. Sound like someone went squat. The world goes on, and the clock is ticking steadily. The world doesn't owe anything to anyone, so it won't listen to anyone's request. Even praying won't turn back things into good things all of a sudden. Therefore, those who expect a lot from the world should overthink, overthink their attitude. Oh, she did go splat in the wood. There's no joy, no sorrow, just emptiness. The world feels heavy on her shoulders. Chapter one. Ma, I couldn't finish reading it. What's this? Oh, okay. I was curious. Mental. Long story short, we'll focus all our energy on pre preparation for this project. Although it takes place next semester, every day we slack off now means the other art clubs have one, one more day to catch up to us. Keep in mind that our elite art club has a reputation to hold. It is essential that we are victorious in the future. I know it's unusual for me to push you guys so hard, and I realize some of you might be uncomfortable with that. Think it over carefully for your own good. I don't want any more incidents this year. That's all. Any questions? What about the materials? If we're going to do oil painting, the paint, the paint will be very expensive. That won't be a problem. Ah, uh, your new classmate doesn't have any materials yet, does she? I'll prepare some for her. Um, I saw with some art supplies today. That's right. Let her use her own supplies. So there's so there's no need to worry about it, is there? Dang! Get some supplies! Guys. Well, you can figure out a suitable solution among yourselves. That's all for today. I yeah, just ain't bullied her and saying that. The girl has a problem. She suffers from nightmares even during the day. Even when it comes to a, such a new round fashion school, the shadows are still everywhere, lingering. They are restless. It took her a whole week to figure out where, where to hand in her homework. Nobody even considers offering her help. The teachers always seem to be in a hurry after class, avoiding contact with anyone. It's, a, it's far from what she imagined. Something must be wrong with her, at least 
That's what she always tell herself. That's why she came here in the first place. Her family moved around a lot and she could never depend on her friends. The only thing she could depend on is her hobbies. She doesn't like to talk and as long as she doesn't have to, everything's fine. At least this school has a club, art club. If she doesn't need worries to go about her hobby, go worry about her hobbies. Personally, she won't need to worry. She won't need worries to make friends. That's what she thought. <laughs> However, her, expect her expectations weren't met. Still working on that piece? Just give it up already. The girl's smile is mean and prideful, glimmers to draw attention to show off everyone around her. The painting is a little different from what she was imagined, but she was dealing with the past bit by bit after all. The paint is still wet. But once it dries, she'll pay more attention to the details. Come on, just leave it. You can't participate in the next, the next event because you haven't done your part, understand? It doesn't really matter anyway. The work should be more precise. You should have left room for another lamp. You should have left room for another line right there. Oh, leave her alone anyway. She's going to fall flat on her face anyway, thinking she can play the big lead. Those mean words cut deep like a knife, and sadly, it's a daily occurrence. I wish she'd be more self-aware and how, and know what her place is. It's so annoying to have newbies around. Come on, let's just let's sit. Let her, let us sit here and rot, just like a mushroom. Ha ha ha. Bye. Remember what you're supposed to do. They switched off the life as they leave, forgetting the fact that there's still someone in the room. What a bunch of bullies. I can't stand bullies. Since there's only one window, the light in the art studio isn't exactly optimal. She doesn't feel like doing anything about it right now. Obviously, the fact that they forgot that she was in the room wasn't an accident. Gradually, everyone leaves the building and everything goes silent. Maybe Mushroom grows in silent, in isolation. She would... She would prefer to have a be a mushroom right now. At least people ain't outright cruel to a mushroom. At most, they would occasionally trust. Oh my eye. What am I eyes? <laughs> At most, they would occasionally crush it with a foot. That outcome doesn't seem so bad. What an odd thought to cross our mind. In novels, students are confronted with events like this over and over again. The readers must laugh at the repetitions of the author's writing. However, not many people would well continue laughing once events like this turn into a cruel reality for themselves. Only once did she manage to muster up the courage to speak out against the people ganging up on her, but it made no difference. She put up a wall around herself for her own protection, her very own glass prison, protecting her from the cruel outside world. The whole world is against her, at least that's how she feels. In a novel, there would be two potential scenarios for her, coming out of her shell and breaking the silence or slowly but surely drowning in it. And she obviously doesn't have the right kind of personality f for the former. The broom and the dustpans are gone. She isn't surprised at the prank and still and just quietly closed the cabinet. The classroom is more cluttered than ever, and the crumpled up papers everywhere seem to be the, the trap that has been laid out for her today. She slowly picks up the piece of paper, eventually they will run out of ideas. Even if this young girl tries to deal with her emotions, the malice of the past doesn't look like it's still, it will disappear in the future. Even if she struggles to deal with her grief, the pain is realless, there is relentless, taking up 24 hours of every day. Even so, she doesn't give up. Ah, uh, these guys are really... Should I turn on the light? The shadow disappeared and the room grows warm again. I figured you'd still be here. Let's go back together. The world goes on and the clock keeps ticking. The world doesn't owe anything to anyone, so it won't listen to anyone's request. Even praying won't turn bad things into bad things into good things all of a sudden. Therefore, those who expect a lot from the world should overthink their attitude. Maybe that's why the moth is drawn to the fame. Hmm. Okay. Store manager. The one... That one goes there and this one... Okay. Done. It doesn't really fit. 
Many people simply grab books, flip them to them, then put them back. Of course, they don't check where the book originally was. This means everything's an organized mess. An unorganized mess. With different genders and classified thrown into one big, messy pile. Making sure everything is put back is in its original place is probably more difficult than just placing it in the free, free space you see. Alright, time for a break. There's no sense in asking too much for yourself. To be honest, I don't have a lot of confidence as a store manager even though I've been going doing this for the last six, six months. I have my doubts at first, but whatever. Gotta earn some money somehow. The landlord is out for my blood. Hermitage isn't just an ordinary shop. If customers are only looking for something to satisfy the desires to read, most of them won't find what they're looking for here. The literature is here from folklores of Japanese scholars to Chinese to Panagama translation of new religion groups in the Southeast Asia has piled up in such a vast ocean of books that even the owner has lost his, his overview. There are a lot of other obscure reading materials here, and the only reason why people stay here must either be the familiar smell of old books or they're, they're looking for a very, some very specific research material. There's always an interesting conversation to be had though. But it doesn't seem like there are any new customers around today. After all, the storefront doesn't look like that welcome, welcoming to strangers. The few regulars who come here are either very quiet or have or have chatted way too much over the past few weeks to a point that they don't have anything else interesting left to say. Skinny customer? The girl hand, head, hand rests on the edge of the bookshelf and she suddenly moves her lips while brushing through the books. Over the last few months, she had become a regular, reg, regular visitor. I like her. Quietness isn't a bad thing in itself and she had always been polite and not at all annoying. But more, she once brought Voyage of the Western Pacific to in the shop, which instantly earned her some bonus points. I should try talking to her once more. I'm sure there's some good conversation to be had. I just need to finish my chores. Uh, now is the time to smoke. Alright, now is the time for a smoke. If I'm having trouble with something, smoke a, smoking a cigarette opens your mind. If I'm looking for information, I can always check out the bookshelf. They ain't any worthwhile books right now okay if there's nothing else to do I sometimes go ahead and organize the shelves there's still customer in the store so I should I should do my job as store manager first a customer seems to have something to say okay oh I didn't mean to do that oh shit I should get rid of my cigarette first the young girl has something to say on her mind. I should try talking to her. I kind of think of it. She's been dropping by much more often recently, but she rarely speaks. Maybe it's the atmosphere or she's just the quiet type. It's hard to guess. In any case, it's my duty as a store manager to take care of my customer. Now, now, only now do I notice how young she must be. Her uniform consists of a sailor school and a long skirt. It's quite well known in the city. If I remember correctly, this uniform is worn at a well-known private school. It's called Phoenix High School. I heard that there's only except female students and that one of the highest rated schools, quite a feat. It name sounds appropriately, appropriately strong. She wears big glasses that cover a huge part of her face and is clutching a book under her one arm. She holds it very carefully. It's almost like she's carrying a small animal. That she's trying not to hurt. Uh, that's that's the one you want to buy today. Sorry, I'm I'm just making sure. This time it's the trail of a missing fish. Her reading interests are a little weird. She's been coming here more often lately and has slowly become a regular. This store isn't really well known, so she must have heard about it somewhere. I flipped through the trails of the missing fish before. The book is is by no means interesting to read. It's more like an academic dis documentary something about ancient rituals and making sacrifice to see God I have my doubts about its authenticity the villages itself village itself had been abandoned for a long time and it remained were almost entirely destroyed the author city cite a large number of folklore accounts to the corporation's 
incorporate the details, but it's all mere spectation. An entire book full of ancient texts, while the content sure is interesting, the quality of its writing itself is lackluster. Why would a student be interested in the remains of a settlement whose names have long been forgotten? Sure, the shop sometimes I get a volume containing a rare piece of history that is significant, but this mysterious village, according to the author, Nuclear Soft, was a place where strange rituals were a common thing and actually quite scary to read. And that's not even the most troubling something. It's not that simple, I'm afraid. Huh? I can see it's a confusion. May I ask why you want this book? Um, why? I'm just curious. I can't deny it. These things are very interesting to me, too. They're more to the world than we know. The girl seems somewhat confused. Her blank eyes wander around the room. Uh, can I please have it? I really need it. It's just there are certain rules and guidelines that must follow. I'm sure you understand. The way the girl responds is somewhat unusual. Even though it's a strange book, she shouldn't be this embarrassed. Maybe she really is integral. I don't know if the reason could be such a simple one. But I... Yeah? Sure. It's okay. Or... Or maybe... Everything's alright? I don't need this book anymore. I'm sorry. I'll help you put it back. The girl takes the book from my hand and tours the bookshelf. It, it was all very abrupt and the way she moved extremely clumsily. It's easy to see how nervous she is and that she didn't think things through. Ah. And she fell. Oh. Bookcase nerdry that fur. If I'm not mistaken, it's, a, it's silent all of a sudden. She's just lying there. On the ground, underneath a mountain of books. I can't even find the right words to describe the situation. All I could do is silently walk towards her and literally, and, and, and literally battlefield. Sorry, I'm so sorry at this. It's... My curiosity from a few minutes ago has been fully satisfied. Now she's acting like a woodpecker, keeping her head down and bowing repeatedly in my apology. She looks like she's on the verge of tears. Come on, help me clean up. We need to get some sense of order back. If the actual owner saw this, I'd be kicked out in an instant. Of course, really, I'm so sorry. The girl followed me to help me pick out pick up the book scattered all over the floor. Every time she picked up a book, she opened it and ruffled through the pages carefully. After making sure the pages ain't damned, she carefully blow away the dust before handing the book back to me. Her hands are trembling and she's obviously scared and nervous. Doing this is a sight in silence is, is only going to make this atmosphere even more awkward. Time to find something to talk about or lighten things up. Um, so your name is Cecile, right? Look, it's your student ID card. You must have dropped it when you fell. Ah, when did that happen? Relax, you're regular here. I'm not angry because of a small incident, alright? Don't worry about it, really. Let's go back to the topic. The book you want is a good one, sure. It's also rare and vulnerable. I can't see why someone your age would need it so badly. I, I can't just sell such a precious book to someone so young. Someone who still shows a lack of control, you know what I mean? The emphasis being on can't sell. If you can convince me, I may consider lending it to you. I'll lend it to you and you'll bring it back once you finish it. But don't get go telling people about it. I don't usually make ex ex exceptions. I don't want to have to lie to people to pass it off as a mistake should anyone find out I made an exception. This copy of the Trails of the Mission Fist is a folklore and given that this issue is at least 20 years old, I doubt the author was ever officially published during his time. As mentioned before, the book contains and writing style are rather obscure and it takes a lot of time to fully grasp its meaning. You might be disappointed if you expect to find an exact piece of information that you're looking for, but online search engines can come in a long way. Our ability to search for information and find it quickly has long exceeded everything we used to think was possible. Cecile will be looking for something very specific, something so particular that it may only be found in this particular bookstore. Such a young girl suddenly developed an interest in ancient religion practice for not a parent's reason? What a strange world we live in. Cecile hesitates for a moment, maybe because she still feels guilty 
Sir, would you believe me if I told you something? That really depends on what you're going to say. Just know you don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I'm happy to listen. I can fully understand why you wouldn't want to talk to your classmates and some things need to be talked about. Or they eat you up from the inside. Bullseye. A pale face clenched the book tightly. Recently, I've been having some strange, very strange dreams. Oh? Most of them are horrifying. So I'm really scared. I dreamed of a giant fire raising from the sea engulfed an entire island. Many small animals lived on that island. But they all disappeared in the blink of an eye. Sh shadowed by the flames. There was no trace of them left after that. Ooh, this beat is nice. <laughs> it's not like about the drop. In another dream, I saw men dressed in ancient armor. They were fighting. They held swords and spears and stood together in huge groups. A large scrounge of cavalry rushed towards them from the, the hillside. There was blood everywhere. The men weren't on a horseback. The men who weren't on a horseback were shouting and screaming. I couldn't understand the strange dialect. They were speaking, I think, but they were speaking Chinese. I also dreamed of a huge plaza surrounded by buildings. Four hundreds wearing pentagon star badges stood together in dozen lines and were escorted by two trucks by soldiers. There was there were mothers in tears holding their babies. The soldiers showed no emotion. They knocked the covering woman to the ground with their rifle and then took the streaming babies. Before I started having these nightmares, I could only see scenarios like this in books, illustrations, or TV. But I also saw many things I had never seen or heard about before. These are original dreams, and I can't seem to forget about them. I remember them vividly. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not very good at describing how I feel. Did, all, did it all seem way too real? Cecile nodded. They don't seem like normal dreams. Why would I have visions of such things when I don't even have a good, that good of an imagination? I try to write them all down. If there's a realistic detail that I couldn't actually know about, that would be all the proof I need. I see. So this time you had a dream about a traditional native festive and wrote down what you were doing in your dream and now you're looking for information that might give you some clues. To be honest, old literature are specific as this is both hard to find and hard to understand. Even harder without having some prior knowledge about it. There was a group of natives dressed in rags dancing around an eight-legged fish made of straw. They spilled yellow wine on a straw heap and smeared blood on a child's lip. They were chanting a strange song that I didn't understand. I had no idea whether they were singing at first because I'm not very familiar with the Consonal dialect, but things became much clearer when I found out about the book. Cecilia con concluded her train of thought with a slight sigh. Uh, nearly all the customers who come to Hamden to buy books have a story, but to be honest, this situation is a little more compl compl complicated. The human brain has many different ways of painting pictures in our mind, dreaming being the most common one. However, for most dreams, there's a logic explanation. Once we drift into supernatural territory, that's when people get scared. But that's not the most pressing issue right now. I can't help but look back at her. Cecile is afraid of making eye contact, but she managed to raise her head and curve it, convey how sincere she is with her eyes. She isn't being completely sincere though. A half truth is still a lie. I don't know how. I don't know if she realized that. I'm not angry. I can't blame her. In fact, of uncertainty, she doesn't know who to trust and is extremely confused. Every situation is unique. For better or for worse, I acclaimed some experience dealing with strange situations like this once. Going on this will only lead to us running in circles. I need to find the right word, something a girl in her position can relate to. Now it's the time to choose. Uh, so now it's time to be saved. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's what it is. It's, it's time to save. Alright. Alright. Uh, be straightforward. What are you hiding? Beat around a bush. Um, I think there might be something else. Bluff. Actually, the truth is. Anyway, 
Lying is not a good habit, you know. Hmm. You should, what else you heard? And uh, I think there might be something else. I'm leaning towards more about beat around a bush. Um, I think there might be something else or bluff. Actually, the truth says I'm imitating. I don't think she, she's she looks. She's somebody. I don't. I'm not even sure if she's the same person that was that we was seeing earlier. But she's been bullied. She's been going through a lot. Imitation. Uh, she'd probably be dealing with that. During the bully part, I'm mean, uh, they they thought e, you are not it. Well, it's not it, so I guess I'm going with this one. Um, I did believe where her eye put out the cigarette butt and take a deep breath, but there's more to it than that, isn't it? The girl eyes widen as I called her out. Looking for information because you had some strange dream. A nice idea, but only someone who went through the trouble of making up a story would explain it like that. But I didn't. Humans relay or subject of motions. If a thing has no value, no one will grant it much, grant it much attention, let alone devote so much effort into studying it. I can tell you're a smart girl, but believe me, interest isn't a bad excuse. You can stick with uh, that approach, but it's not going to work. I approached her and looked into her eyes. There's a lot of history hidden away here. Fate brought you here to her. It's a special place. I hope you understand that. Sarah seems to be holding her breath. The girl holds tightly to, onto the book. Her fingers caress the corners. It's a sign of how many, many thoughts are going through her head right now. Time feels as if it's moving slower. I don't know how long we've been standing here, but after a while, Sarah's eyes finally drift away from mine. Sir. You really ain't an original person. Um, thanks? I won't shy away from a compliment if I get one, that's for sure. To still ignore my playful remark, she carefully put the book back on the shelf, then turns to me with a serious expression on her face. It wasn't my original plan, but sooner or later, I probably would have come here to ask you for advice anyway. I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. I'm really embarrassed. Hmm, seems like you really don't know anything. All I can do is scratch my head. Playing dumb doesn't seem to be working very well. I want to believe that there are still people willing to help others out there, so it's nice to see that they still exist. You're an interesting person, sur surrounded by so much knowledge from all kinds of different sources. Most people would never believe me if I told them what I told you. I could take a rough guess at your situation. You could tell me a story. I'd like to hear the truth. The concern... The corner of her mouth turned upright into a slight bitter smile. It's a harsh truth, though. I really don't. I really didn't lie, though. Those images are still in my head. But it's just like you said. There are little. There are other reasons why I'm paying such a close attention to them. The sincere tone of voice changed as she looked at me, but her eyes ain't focusing on me. I saw my best friend in my dream. She was like a sister to me. Huh? She was lying on the ground, twitching her face as pale as snow. The ground beneath her head was covered in red. Blood was splitting out of her head. Oh, that's when she fell. I couldn't see her eyes. Her head... Uh, her right hand was completely mauled, and she was trying to move. There was blood. So much blood in her eye. The girl's getting more and more immersed in her vivid memories. She stared at me with a blank eye. I could see a figure reflecting in her eye, but it's not me. Cecilia covered her face with one hand. She looked panicked. She used the other hand to point at the ground as if something was lying there. She kept trying to lift her head, but her neck was twisted too badly. She didn't react at all. I held her hand. She... I... Cecilia entered in a, a kind of trance as she became fully immersed in the memory. Her facial expression changed to the one almost dread, and most mouths started moving strangely to its own. Words filled out of his, her mouth. She can't control it. She's staring. The sky. The eyes. Wait, eyes? Didn't she? Didn't she say she couldn't see them? At first, I blood. Her neck. Those eyes. The eyes. 
eyes looking at me and looking at me staring at me looking at me glazing at me those eyes i clap my hand loudly in front of her face uh -huh. she sits there with her arm wrapped around herself shaking fright fright frightening me i just what should i do i gently pat my hand on her shoulder calm down calm down so basically, this vision made you worry. Worry about your friend's well-being. Cecile nodded. I can't bear the thought of, thought of her like this. It's so horrible. I'm, I'm really scared. The more I remember, the more I... Cecile leaned against the edge of the bookshelf. Her arm almost to her knees. So you decided to look for information on visions and hallucinations. You're trying to gain further knowledge about them trying to figure out how much of what your experience is connected to reality. No response this time, but the answer is clear. This is starting to get more troubles. This, this is starting to get troublesome. Will you help me? Cecilia looked up and worried expression on her face. Her eyes are slightly red and swollen from holding back her tears. She looks so troubled. I can't leave her alone with this. I can't leave her alone with this burden. So you're interested in, your interest was in fact, gen, fact genuine. That book, I thought maybe I... Okay, take it easy. I won't leave you on your own. However, if you really want me to help you, I need more information, some more details to work with. Who exactly is this friend? Who's like a sister to you? What's your relationship with her? Can you pinpoint where and, where and when the vision takes place? More importantly, what exactly are these hallucinations? I know the situation is serious, but I still need to grasp the basic concept of it all. Well, I won't be able to help you. You're right. I'll tell you. Actually, I often get bullied at school. I don't have any friends there, and they often pick on me in groups. So she is the girl that was there. They all think I don't deserve to be going to the same school as them. They want to force me to leave. They, they don't talk to me. They steal my books, pour water on my, my desk drawer. They always try to make me angry or trip me whenever I walk by. The only person who ever stood up for me and told them to stop was her. Her name is El El Ros? El 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 Ros. I'm saying it wrong, but she's gonna be called El. She's the president of the school's art club. Without her, I probably would have given up already. When did you two meet? Hmm, around the middle of September this year. Interesting. From what you told me so far, I would have thought you've known each other for, for years. I wish that was the case, but I only transferred to Phoenix High School this semester. I had high hopes that people there would be nicer, that there would be a sense of community, but it's even worse than, I, it, it, than it was before. She sighed and looked as if she's holding back a flustered laugh. It sounds tough. This is, this, is this art school somehow related to what you've been dreaming of? The floor in my vision is very much like the one in the club building, and Elle often gets into arguments with others because of me. Are there many conflicts with, within the art club? The situation between her and others are very tense, even though she's the student representative. Don't the teacher have anything to say about all this? I mean, things look like that could reflect neg negative negatively on them too. Truth be told, the teachers are more worried about the art co competition the preparations for for that have their full attention. The what now? It's an art co competition called the Youngsters Cup. It's a it's prestigious and the levels of talent is very high. It's serious business. I don't really know too much about those type kind of things. What what can you win? Prize? Money? No, nothing like that. Honestly, for me, it's not even that big of a deal. But I've only been around a few months. Many of the other multiple, many of the multiple years, their pride is on the line when it comes to facing off against students from other schools. So it's about honor. Every February, the Yannis Yakius Cup is the only thing everybody talks about at Phoenix High. We always score well in the cup co competition. Sounds very pr persistent, if you ask me. They work so hard to prepare. It that they all stressed out, the atmosphere becomes unbearable, and the art club turns into an emotional power keg. So it's a regular occurrence. Just like L doesn't have much foot, 
Just like me, Elle doesn't have much of a presence outside the art club. Considering her calm personality, it's hard to imagine her taking the initiative and start a fight with anyone else. That makes your vision even more strange. There's no plausible expression for them. I would like to just write them off as simple nightmares. I really would. But I'm convinced that there's more to it. Yes, I understand that, that now. It really makes me wonder. Like I said before, I see a lot of these things in dreams. Although I don't think see is the right word to describe it. I can see, hear, and touch everything. It's as if I don't even exist and I'm actually a part of it all. That doesn't really add up to what you said before. Could you explain it again? How do you mean that? How do you mean that? I'm not very good at explaining it. Don't worry, just tell me about how you feel when it first happens. What was the first thing that went through your mind? To still thinks it over and open her mouth to say something, but then shut it again. He stayed silent for almost a whole minute. Well, I think I was flying. Flying. So it felt as if you were flying through the air? No, it felt like flying, but I don't have any sense of self. I can observe everything from above. But my perspective certainly isn't from heaven. The only reason I, I say it that way is so I can describe it somehow. Last time I saw the city famous Riverside View viewing platform, a group of panicked people came running towards from the north, right towards the people, right towards the people on the viewing platform. Lucky security guards was nearly to was nearby to handle the situation and to prevent the mass panic. The people were shaking up. Oh, I guess so. The people were shaken up and looked like they seen a ghost. They looked really frightened. All the same, they were such a small group that they were lost in a gigantic crowd of people. Hardly anyone noticed the uproar, and on the other side of the viewing platform, everyone seemed carried on the, uh, carry, carried as usual on as usual. It's really scary how you can feel isolated and unsafe even when you're out in public. And surrounded by so many people. Afterwards, I went to take a look at the place on my own. The surrounding streets and buildings were all familiar to me. They were just like the dream. Even the street signs was the same. It's hard to imagine that without having seen it for yourself. I've seen bizarre scenarios play out in my mind before, but until the, until the ver version of my friend, I never thought about actively researching what I've seen. I often lose track of time when I have those visions. I have no sense of self. No, Cecile, it's just one big blur of everything. Cecile described the situation as if it was a good thing. I'm surprised she isn't smiling what with, what with how happy she sounds. However, as soon as my focus shifts, I quickly lose that state of mind. The same as with, with a real dream. By the time I start to question whether or not I am myself, I'm already in a more cons consistent state and it's only a matter of time before I, I return to reality. Well, at least you return to your sense at some point. A dream that can put, that can even put the fact in question is more than bizarre. Even if I wanted to help from, help from someone, I, 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 have, I have a hard time explaining it to them. I really appreciate you taking the time to listen to me. I'm very grateful. She bowed her head and, and, and already sound less tense. Talking is really important. Ooh, my head. <laughs> I don't know why my character did that. <laughs> Talking is very important. I've never been very sociable. Too awkward, I guess. But I see where you're coming from. Anyway, I just want to understand what I see after all. If my friend is really in danger, I need to find a way to help her. Do you think I'm naive for wanting to find out whether my dreams are real or not? No, not at all. Of course not. In fact, you being so calm now is remarkable. Let's take a small break. Do you want a cup of coffee? Let me save though though. I'm gonna save here. Okay, go back. Ooh. 
or that reader. The so leaves hammer before the sun goes down. The hands she was holding in the hot coffee was with was was ice cold, which I find difficult to comprehend. After the sister departs the book bookstore, fall the bookstore falls back into its usual silence. Only the books that are acts on the shelves show any indication that something happened here. Though to be honest, it's probably more organized than before. Still, there's a lot of work to be done. I should analyze the information I have so far. It completely depends on how Cecilia is willing, uh, how much Cecilia is willing to tell me. We agreed to discuss and further and further tomorrow. But if she chose choose choose to give up, there's nothing more I can do. Instead of worrying about that right now, I should focus my mind on matter at hand. Stay calm and collect collect and take plenty of notes. That's what what experience has taught me over the years. Even strange events that cannot be explained through common sense often follow some kind of logic. As long as there is significant information, I can draw a conclusion. As more conclusions are drawn and analyzed, the event can be obscure. It's something I like to call a principle of reason. The thing I see looks so real, I can nearly reach out and touch them. Normally, my Im images isn't as vivid. That's why I started memorizing the things I saw. How else would I ever be able to prove that they're real events? Consume reasoning. I write down a question. Although her idea sounds somewhat naive, there's nothing in inherently wrong with it. The problem is how to prove it. Even if Cecile finds matches between the dream and the reality, there's no actual solid proof. Pe people often get a sense of deja vu, and that experience is known as a sense of being present, has its own plausible explanation in science. In times of emotional instab instability, the frequency of de deja vu experience is increased. That might not be all, and it's too simple to uh, simple an exp explanation. But when under stress, it's easy to, for the brain to mess up one of the delicate process. The viewing platform Cecil Mission is pretty well known sightseeing spot. So even if even if the architecture there gives her a sense of fami familiarity because of her vision, there's still no real verification. Past memories can often interfere subconsciously with the conclusion. She may have seen this place somewhere before. To answer this question, I can't solely rely on Cecile's one-sided information. The, the, the assumes that she didn't have any relative knowledge beforehand can only be confirmed by a third party. I should take notes on what else she said and so she said she saw. The ancient battlefield gathering at the square, those scenes are bizarre enough. And there seem to be no explanation for them. That big fire she mentioned worries me as well. Considering the, diffi the difficulty of the investigation, I only have a limited number of options left. Did those things happen? Those things happening at Phoenix High School, right at the Riverside viewing platform. That's all the information I can confirm so far. It's puzzling either way, but at least I can try. There's more down-to-earth approach to understanding what's happening in the city. If possible, I want to avoid involving any innocent bystanders. When I was conducting research on folklores in a remote countryside, I heard a lot of other supernatural dreams. There's a word of difference between an incident, an innocent high school student and witches. It's obvious that Cecile has already convinced herself of an answer to all of this, but trying to actually prove it is something much more difficult altogether. The sky outside has already turned completely dark, and I didn't even notice. The lighting inside Herm Hermitage isn't optimal, but it's better than nothing. I turned off the dim light on the ground floor, which holds more symbolic than actual value. Lock the shop door and make my way to the apartment. There's no one. There's no one around. I really have. I finally have time to think. What a weird dream. 
she would have had no reason to lie to me if she was just borrowing a book. Normal people probably don't believe in dreaming about the past, much less that it could actually be proven. As I just explained to Cecilia, it wouldn't make sense to lie like she did, so what she said has to be the truth. However, it's no surprise that she worried about a dream in which her schoolmate is in trouble. The situation is pretty un un unclear. I should find more about what she heard and seen. Oh, I could drag it until there. Oh, that's cool. In her dream, Cecile saw a wonderful scene. Cecile believed that there ain't just an illusion, but somehow can she prove it? Oh. Okay, new illusions are to. Oh, okay. The illusion care had. Far beyond original, among with rising sun prophet, many people rushed from the north for the viewing platform. I could clearly see the expressions of their face. Oh, not cool. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Okay, let me see this right here. Ugh. This, I think I froze up. Um, <laughs> okay, this is, I was going to make this thing a little bit longer, but I've been reading a lot, and I'm just like, oh, reading. <laughs> I like to read, but I like to like read in my head, so it's just like reading out loud. It's just like, oh, reading. <laughs> so, this is probably the only gameplay. Well, this is the last gameplay. That isn't as long as the other two. But it's long enough because I got some, some, some length in it. But, I'm really interested. This one, I mean, I'm dead. Well, I think all of them I'm going to play eventually. Um... All of them, I, I, they interest me. So I'm going to play eventually. It may not be soon, may, maybe later. But I hope you enjoy this Halloween event, I'm going to call it. Halloween costume event, I guess. <laughs> costume gameplay event or whatever. And y'all have a great day. Great night. I did save, right? Let me just return back to the menu. Yes. Have, have a great day. Great night. And yeah, like the video, um, subscribe, turn your notifications on so you get notified for whenever a game, any game is out and you'll be able to keep up to date. Later, I'm going to give me some water. <laughs> Later.